six months into her tenure, Harvard University President Claudine Gay announced she's resigning. Gay's resignation comes nearly a month after she and the presidents of UPenn and MIT faced widespread condemnation. While Harvard's governing board initially backed Gay, she faced increasing scrutiny following charges of plagiarism in her dissertation and several articles, including reports of a new complaint filed this week. This is an attack on diversity. This is an attack on multiculturalism. The fact that she's a black woman, you don't have to, I don't have to say that they're racist. You can hear and see the racism, the attack. This is racism. Will you please shut up? Will you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! Hello and welcome back to another episode of It's Different When Democrats Do It with not just CNN and MSNBC, but a large portion of what I would call the Democrat state media running to the defense of the shortest seated plagiarizing fraud DEI president of Harvard, Claudia Gay. Ah, oh, Gay! I do want to just pivot to another thing because there's another thing happening, Jelani. There, there is this sort of open war on black progress, black history. What are you even saying, Joy Reid? Did you seriously just say that there's, quote, open war on so-called black progress? And I guess this progress is achieved by putting unqualified, lying, plagiarizing frauds into positions of power based solely on their skin color and gender. This is how you apparently achieve progress. Whew. Now I feel better. Um, Claudine Gay, the president uh, of Harvard University, at least up until she resigned, um, is now the latest casualty of that. Christopher Rufo, um, who is out there touting and you know high-fiving and claiming the scalp of Claudine Gay, telegraphed that this was what <clears throat> they were going to do, that they were going to associate um, these DEI professors of colleges with BLM and decolonization and Hamas in the public mind and get rid of them. He's now claiming victory. He telegraphed that this was the campaign. Why are these elite colleges capitulating to it and essentially making it so uncomfortable for these women leaders that they have to step down to be replaced by white men? <laughs> So yeah, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is all about the media defending DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion at all costs. And what that means is that they're going to call all the critics racists. But what's actually happening is that people are starting to notice real racial discrimination and the results of this DEI hiring in the form of people like Claudia Gay. And it's not just her, by the way. There's two other university presidents who are being highly scrutinized right now, and the other two are white women. And one of those two have actually already resigned. Mara Gay, just looking at uh, what's been happening at campuses across the country, your take on this latest news. Well, I think there's a lot going on here, and so we just want to be careful um, that yeah. we contextualize everything properly. Oh! Okay! Okay, what she means by conceptualize is that she's just going to lie. Um, the thing that really disturbs me is the unrelenting campaign from the right and from some mm -hmm. conservative activists to uh, slander, discredit, and Ultimately, I, I guess, uh, you know, somebody used the phrase, uh, we've claimed a scalp, I said, I think, on uh, social media. Well, why don't you cry about it? And, you know, to essentially unseat gay and other presidents as well um, when they don't like, uh, you know, the, not just the handling of uh, the horrific attacks on Israel on October 7th, the way that that was handled on campus, but really anything else. Uh, that they don't like about uh, not just these presidents, but actually what they would call wokeism. So this is really an attack on academic freedom. It's an attack on uh, people who are pluralists and believe that you should bring people from all over the world together uh, of diverse backgrounds and that you, you actually have more scholarly rigor and, and more um, value can be uh, brought by having people from different backgrounds. This is an attack on diversity. This is an attack on multiculturalism. This is an attack on my sanity. Claudia Gay resigned because she chose to plagiarize other people's work and not cite it almost 50 times. That almost seems like an attack on academic rigor and a disservice to every student, no matter what color they are. And on many of the values that a lot of us hold dear, 
And in fact, anybody really who is around my age in their 30s who went to any uh, public, major public university or private university in this country, you know, these are values that are very important. I just love how she rambles on and on about values, but doesn't seem to care about the value at a prestigious university like Harvard of not plagiarizing, which again, Claudia did almost 50 times. Um, and I think mm -hmm. that's why these presidents are under attack. That's why Claudine De Gay was under attack. The fact that she's a black woman and the first person uh, who is a, a black American to lead Harvard uh, only added to their thirst to dethrone her. And, you know, those attacks, you don't have to, I don't have to say that they're racist because you can hear and see the racism, the attacks when people like Vivek Ramaswamy say, uh, you know, uh, okay, this is, this is a problem about diversity and hiring. I mean, this is racism as well. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Claudia Gay did all those things herself through her own choices, policies, activism, and her own testimony. She and her Marxist foot soldier cohorts want you to focus on the people who are noticing Claudia Gay. And they're gonna demonize whoever notices these racist far left extremists in exactly the way you think. So you don't think there was anything um, about this that had to do with the fact that she was a black woman from no. the from the people who were claiming this as a victory against DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I don't think it did, and and you know what? Even if it did, that doesn't justify it. If 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 you or I did this, or even any white scholar, it would be career ending to have fifty examples of plagiarism, and it has to be because how can you be the one? upholding Harvard's integrity when you yourself have failed. It's 50, almost 50 to find. And plagiarism, it's not like a, it's, it's not like true crime where there's, there's a million perspectives on it. You kind of well, either I, lifted the paragraph or you didn't. That's true. <laughs> Ugh, oh man, Abby Phillips is just awful. She's just another one of these far left activists that was put into this position that deceptively resembles a news anchor, but clearly isn't. She just openly defended a political policy and suggested that anybody that opposes it is a racist. When in reality, DEI is itself racist because it requires racial discrimination and diverges from equality with equity, a Marxist concept, which is exactly why corporations are rolling it back every everywhere. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you made it this far, maybe consider hitting that like button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.